Thanks for watching this Eastlink TV sneak peek. To see more, tune into Eastlink TV Channel 10 and check your local listings for showtimes. Andrew Kisak has been collecting World War I memorabilia for over 10 years. And this December, he brought his impressive display to the Ava Burke Donnelly Museum and Archives in Simcoe. Unlike most museum exhibits, Andrew doesn't forbid the touching of his artifacts. In fact, he downright insists. <laughs> quite unique. I know with Andrew does a lot of schools and it's important to him to have uh, students and children touch history because then that becomes real for them. But that's the same for adults as well. Uh, anybody can tell you that it's uh, much more fun to be able to hold something and imagine the person who held it before you or to see something that's a, an actual artifact which is of course the beauty of museums and the beauty of historical societies. My name is Andrew Kisak and uh, I'm here at the Eva Burke Donnelly Museum in Simcoe uh, to basically present uh, World War I pop-up museum which is a collection of personal items and relics and artifacts that I've collected over the past I'd say 10 or 12 years um, that all center around World War I and, uh, and so I'm pleased to be able to come out here and be able to actually present this stuff in, in a way where you can touch it, feel it, hold it, and even hear some sounds as you probably can hear in the background now. So it's uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm quite happy to be here. I mean, I'm part of the Norfolk Historical Society and so we routinely see that interest and there is a hunger and, and a yearning for history and, and I think it needs to be presented in different ways and I think that's the challenge that we face is that um, and that's part of what the pop-up museum is for is being able to present uh, history through relics and through these artifacts and in a way that's tactile in a way that, that can kind of challenge people to learn about history in a different way than they than they may have been exposed to previously. My grandfather served in the First World War uh, so it's family stories that have been passed down uh, so uh, as a little kid and because my father was also in the Canadian Army um, I've always been interested in, uh, in history. Uh, well, it's a very interesting uh, collection that uh, Andrew has. It's a very broad uh, subject material, like everything from little scraps of barbed wire and bullets to part of a nurse's uniform. Knowing that somebody had this on them and then they died using it is interesting, I guess. It's a bit dark, but <laughs> it's cool to know that. But, uh, I like the helmets because I don't have too many. Uh, the gas masks because that's what we collect. It's pretty important to, like, to know like what the background was to where like your country was doing before and like after. What you've just seen is one of the talks in the Norfolk Historical Society's Friends of Eva Gallery Series. Uh, they're held every month here at the Eva Rook Donnelly Museum and Archives. Oh, well, I, I'm, a, I'm a former history teacher. I taught history for 30 years. And I learned a couple things tonight that I could have used. So, yeah, he's done, he did a wonderful job tonight. And as I said, that passion comes through and that concern and just the joy of collecting, which he has, which is important as well. Pretty loud Hopefully I can be with Thank you. <laughs>